So sometimes projects don't go exactly like you thought they would, and evidently this is going to be one of those videos where I have to explain what happened. This is the worst looking thing that I have ever put on YouTube right here. This pumpkin that I have spray painted with some glitter effect spray paint. The biggest takeaway I feel like you need to take away from this video is that this paint is an effect. It is not an all-in-one paint glitter solution, right? You need to go into this with the understanding this is just going to give you a white glittery effect and it's not going to be a solid white paint that covers up any sort of base color you have on the item you're looking to paint. I will own up to everything I did incorrectly along the way. I did read the instructions on the back of the can first, right here. I know where they're at. I read the instructions. But I took the pumpkin from Walmart outside. I did not prep it in any way, did not prime it. The way that I interpreted the instructions on the back read like I didn't have to. And my expectation of the paint coming out of this can was a solid white paint with glitter effect. Very much like this lid, if you can see this. I was expecting to be able to take this orange pumpkin and turn it into this lid. And instead, what I got was this. So first and foremost, as you all know, normally my wife's the spray painter. I've dabbled in spray paint, right? I feel like I should be able to do it, but I will admit to the whole world that my wife is better at spray painting than I am, and this video proves it. Uh, so I obviously was shaking up the spray paint, and you'll see in the video as I was shaking it up, I went to take the cap off, and the actual spray top popped off which is pretty typical for spray paint. That happens from time to time. So I went to put it back on and I took my pumpkin outside and I started spray painting and I hit a couple of snags. First, my nozzle on the spray paint can kept clogging and they actually give instructions on the back of the can on how you're supposed to clean that with some mineral spirits to make sure that it, you know, you can keep going. I didn't do that. I did the typical manly approach of I'm gonna take the cap, I'm gonna take it off, I'm gonna put it back on and just spin it around a little bit, you know? Um, so I did not follow that instruction, that's on me. But it still kept getting clogged, so that was a little bit frustrating. I will say that I also put my coats on a little bit heavily, so uh, I didn't give them enough time to dry. So I went through my pumpkin and I was trying to fix where I had made some mistakes. So you can see on here my uh, little brush strokes. I took a brush um, because the paint was running and I just used a brush to try to smooth those strokes out, and you can tell how terrible that looks. Once again, that's on me um, as I was doing this project. I brought my, you know, my pumpkin very sheepishly to my wife, and she said something to the effect of, what, what's the, what's the streaks on here? Did our oldest get into this paint? And I was like, no, I used a brush to try to smooth out some of the runny spots. So I, I owned up to that. It's like I'm owning up to everything else on this video right now. I've kind of confessed all of my sins, my issues here. So I'm going to go ahead and start talking about the product itself and give you my thoughts on that, right? So uh, I would say that out of all the spray paint I've ever used in my life, which yes, my wife used more, but I have used, you know, some different kinds and a good, a good amount, I, you know, not trying to break my hand patting myself on the back. But I will tell you that I've never had a um, can of spray paint clog up as much as this one did. It seemed like it clogged up a lot. And like I said, you can hear the ball rolling around in there, but it just seemed to get clogged a lot. So I was a little bit disappointed in that. The only other issue that I would cite, I, once again, I broke some of the instructions, but I feel like it was not clearly explained that this is not just a white paint with glitter in it. This is an effect and you're not going to get the lid look by just spraying this on something, right? Um, you have to have a nice base coat of the color you're looking for, and this is more of an effect. So I wish that would have been called out a little bit more. In keeping with the Halloween theme, I would probably say this is more of a trick than a treat. So I personally will not be buying this again, but at the same time, hear me, rust I, I'm not trying to slander you. I love your products, and I've lauded them in several of my videos. This one, just for me, uh, if I went into it with better expectations, or, uh, I might have rated this higher, but I feel like it was a little bit of a trick and a little bit less of a treat. So if you want to light me up in the comments and tell me that I don't know how to spray paint, I don't know how this glitter effect paint works, and I don't know what I'm doing, I mean, you have every right to. I've given you enough ammunition in the video itself. I acknowledge my failures, but I do make this uh, video to help you hopefully make an informed decision about if this is a product you want to use. Maybe you love the look of this pumpkin, and if you do, thank you, because you're probably only the only person in the world that does. Made it this far in the video, I ask that you go ahead and subscribe to the channel, 
and you can hit that bell to get instant notifications when a video uh, pops up, a new one. Uh, if you like the content, leave a like on the video, drop a comment if you have any questions, and let me know if you've had any uh, good experiences with the spray paint. And maybe let me know if there's something else that I missed um, and something I could do differently in the future if I um, am told I need to give this spray paint another shot. So, all that to say, thanks for tuning in, and I'll talk to you soon.